I'm Shari from Eden Flower Studio uh, and today we're going to make a flower crown together. Uh, we'll need a few things for this. We'll need um, some 22 gauge wires uh, and some 26 gauge wires. You can pick both these wires up from any local florist. We always have them on stock here. Uh, we need some parafilm which is a florist tape. Um, I'm going to use green today with my fresh flowers. It does come in white um, and brown as well um, so you can pick what colour you want to use. Um, I've got some flower cutters and some ribbon scissors um, and we'll need some ribbon as well just to tie our flower crown at the back um, or you can use some twine or whatever you want to tie it off with. Um, and then I've just got a selection of flowers. Um, I've got some eucalyptus, some chrysanthemum, uh, some asters some delphinium and some misty. Um, you can use whatever flowers you like, um, but keep them smaller heads, nothing too big, because otherwise it'll be too heavy um, on your crown and be hard to control while you're making it. Um, and obviously any color scheme that you like, um, you can be as creative as you like. Um, I find flower crowns have been very popular for bridal showers, baby showers, um, our phone going off in the background <laughs> um, or even um, for little girls for birthday parties um, lots of occasions um, you could make your flower crown for coming into spring um, spring racing um, or just to have fun on the weekend um, so to do the base of our flower crown I'm going to use two of my 22 gauge wires which are the thicker wires that you'll have and I'm going to use them together just to reinforce it to make it a little bit um, thicker now depending how far around your head you want to go, um, you could go just behind your ears which is what one length would do for me um, or we can add some more wire and make it go all the way around. With my wires I'm going to join them together using my parafilm. Now the parafilm is a little bit um, of a unique item. Uh, it's not sticky but it does stick to itself. Um, to make it stick to itself though, we do need to make it a little bit warm. Um, so just warming it up behind, between your fingers and your hand, um, even sticking it in your pocket. Um, if it's too cold, it's not going to stick, it'll just um, snap off while we use it. Um, but we also don't want it to get too hot, don't um, leave it in your car or anything, otherwise it'll ruin it. Um, to use it, we need to stretch it a little bit. So it almost goes um, see-through and that'll help it um, stick to itself. Um, so to cover my wires, I hold the parafilm on with my thumb, I am right handed, I hold it um, with my left thumb and stretch it down the wire a little bit. Um, so keeping um, the parafilm stretched out just so that it goes a bit see through and that's where I twist it on. So I twist the wire. And with my right hand, I'm just pulling the parafilm down the wire a little bit. If it snaps off, you can just start back up again where it snapped off, layer it over. So you don't want to go too thick or not stretch it, otherwise it's going to be a bit chunky um, and it's not going to stick to itself. So stretching that nice and thin down the length of the wires. When you first do it, it will um, snap a little bit, it's a bit tricky. Then at each end, I'm going to just do a little hook so that I've got like a um, like the eye of the needle um, at the end. And then I'm going to parafilm that on so it just um, connects it um, on there, which will leave me with a little loop. And that's where at the end we'll um, thread our ribbon through um, to be able to tie our flower crown on. And the same with my other end. Use my very dirty flower florist hands. <laughs> it's been a busy day. <laughs> um, okay, so we should have a wire that has little loops at the end covered in our power film. That's the base of our flower crown. Now the fun part of adding all our flowers on. Um, so you can group your flowers, you can um, evenly space them through. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of foliage through mine as well to thicken it up. You can have it quite thin and delicate or um, quite and chunky the, the design is totally up to you. Um, so using my flower cutters, um, I'm 
going to start with a little bit of foliage. With anything that's um, a good sturdy but thin stem, um, I cheat a little bit and tape him straight onto um, my florist wire. Don't tell my tape teachers because they would have made me wire every little piece of this. But there's no need to do that. So. I'm just going to take a selection of my flowers and I'm just going to evenly disperse them um, over. I've got a little bit of a mixture of pastel colours for my one um, coming into spring. And I'm just going to layer each flower over the last so that I'm covering where I'm taking it on. So I lay, I lay the flower or the foliage on top of the wire that we've just parafilled. Remove any extra bits of foliage or um, anything on the stem so I've got a nice clean stem. And again, like we covered our wire, I'm going to hold the parafilm down in my left hand with my right stretch it out and just twist it around the flower to tape it onto the original wire and it will also cover the stem of the flower which seals it and helps to keep as much moisture in there as possible so that our flower crown lasts for as long as possible. Obviously once we're cutting the flowers off the stems um, and attaching them onto our flower crown they are out of water so it's not going to last forever. Um, it, it will only last a day also, um, it, it can dry out a little bit, um, but using fresh flowers, they are out of water, so it's not going to last that long. Um, but co covering the ends with the parafilm um, seals the water in, helps them last for as long as possible. Um, and then with my next flower, I'm just going to go over the top of where I taped and layer it over the top to cover where I taped and tape the next flower on. And that's pretty much what we're going to do all the way along the length of our wire is layering the flower over where we taped, wrapping it up in that tape, down the stem, remembering to pull the parafilm over the stem until we've covered the stem, and then you can pull your tape off. And we're just gonna to continue to layer it down. Bit of ribbon, 
normally do about 40 centimeters worth through the little loop at the end. Tie in a couple of knots to secure. No special trick to the knots, just a couple of nice tight knots. <laughs> and then the other side, the same thing. I'm trimming that ribbon off just so it's nice and neat. And the tails are the same at both ends. And then we have our flower crown. You can tie him. Flower crown. I hope you enjoyed it.